Hi and welcome to this quick tool review. This time around we'll be evaluating the Banggood uh, carbide inserts for aluminum uh, that they sent me for evaluation. Uh, the price, excellent, $18.55 for 10. That works out to $1.85 an insert. Compare that to the name brands and they're you know, $5 and $6 an insert up to way over $20. Um, they shipped them in a strange fashion. So this plastic container that I put them in was in the package but sealed and all of the inserts were loose in a bag. So check out this close-up footage. So here's another awkward attempt at some close-ups for you. Uh, you can see the significant chipping that uh, most likely happened during shipping. Uh, they were shipped loose in a bag and uh, banged together all the way here. These inserts are positive rake inserts, and I think 11 degree re, uh, relief on them. And uh, they're very sharp on the edges, which means you know carbide being hard but brittle, very prone to uh, chipping like we're seeing here. So that's my guess. Um, the metal vapor deposition put on them, I'm not sure what it is, but it's very slippery and shiny and looks like it'll help prevent aluminum welding pretty nicely. Uh, I don't know what grade of carbide this is, but it could be very good because, you know, carbide powder manufacturers are worldwide, and so you can buy your carbide powder source from anywhere you want, I would think. Um, it's, again, it's a shame because I'm pretty sure that uh, the chipping you're seeing here, there's the positive rake you can see there. Uh, the significant chipping is going to affect the finish, that's my guess. Yeah, probably not a good idea. I have a feeling they've got them in a box and they just take count out 10 and put them in the bag and ship them. Because this box, this, this container was sealed, so it's not like it popped open during transit. Um, the damage to the edges will affect the surface finish. How much? I guess we're going to find out. Let's go take a look. All right, so I've loaded up uh, four of these in my face mill here. You'll notice, looking on end, that uh, this angle is positive. And they're positive rake inserts for, for a good reason. Uh, with a face mill and a small mill, it uh, reduces the amount of power you need to uh, cut. So especially as the number of cutters increases, uh, that'll really come into play big time on a smaller mill. All right, let's get over to the mill and uh, see how this performs with the uh, cutters that have small chips in the uh, carbide. All right, so first test, let's do a face cut without adding uh, any uh, coolant at all uh, or lubrication and let's do a 25 thousandths pass okie doke uh, 1200 rpm tend to perform the same in both directions so I am going to uh, I'm going to come back the other direction there uh, there is a bit of scratching here and with my fingernail I can just barely feel it and that might very well be due to the chip cutters I mean it only takes one uh, let's go to 50 we'll come back for another 25 thousandths and just see if direction makes any difference I wonder what difference it makes is where the chips go. <laughs> Besides everywhere. Chip cutters definitely make a surface finish uh, difference. Um, it might even be a little bit worse this direction. Uh, yep. Yeah, the scratches are deeper. So let's give it a chance and let's uh, add some lube.
and uh, do another 25 to keep it e keep us honest here and we're going to go back the other direction the best way and see uh, see if I can get some lube right on the cutters not that's going to stay for very long Let's see what we get these are coated cutters and I really don't think this is going to make a whole lot of difference and the reason I say that is because there are scratches in the car, uh, nicks in the carbide, little chips, and uh, there's not much you can do about that. So it's definitely better in this direction. Again, um, don't think the lubrication helped in any particular uh, way. Um, a little bit. Uh, yeah, it might have helped a little bit because I can barely feel the, uh, the grooves, maybe even a little less than before. So let's come back the bad direction and uh, test the uh, same thing. So we're going to do another 25 thousandths. Get some chip protection here. Looks like lubrication might help a little bit, and of course, everybody knows lubrication helps, so uh, I guess that's not a terrible surprise. Uh, I think I just can't get away from the fact that uh, the carbide is damaged, so obviously, you can't get any flatter than the carbide, the damaged carbide will allow. Yeah, it's definitely not as good in this direction. Definitely not as good. Definitely scratches more. And that may be the, the way the cutter loads. Here's somewhat of a close-up of the finish going both directions. I did a few more passes off camera. And you can feel the grooves just a little bit with your fingernail. So, what's my take overall? My take is that this cut, these cutters probably would perform extremely well if they weren't damaged. Uh, as is, they perform reasonably well. Um, if you didn't want a perfect finish when you're done, then you could certainly rough finish and maybe even nearly finish, you know, it may be an acceptable finish. I don't know, because it definitely has some grooves there. Um, it may be okay for you. I, I think if uh, the manufacturer had shipped them in the package as they uh, should have been, then uh, we'd be a lot better off. So I'm going to give a thumb in the middle on this one. I'm going to give thumbs in the middle, not thumbs up, not thumbs down. Uh, they're, they're usable, but not great. Um, I'd love to test some that weren't damaged. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you next time.